this to reason. What is life and what is death? And there is there life after death? Listen to reason. Some people are taught to believe that each time a person is born, he or she has a new soul who never existed before. This is not true. But what is true is that the baby just born has a new body that never existed before. And the new body must produce life for itself if it is continue to continue to live after birth. The umbilical cord that mother provides the life for the embryo and fetus during the gestation period before the infant was born. This is not an individual spirit being called a soul that keeps the baby alive because spirit beings survive on the food and blood of the living body themselves. In other words, it is just the opposite of what religionists teach. Instead of spirit beings being the live people, people are the live spiritual beings. Because life itself is indeed a burning. The burning can be conscious or unconscious, constructive or destructive. There exists the life of life and the life of death. The life of life exists in the top half of the circle of existence during the time the top half exists and the life of death has been in the bottom half of the same circle like life death lives otherwise it can not be active and reverse life let it be remembered always and let it be known Listen to reason. Life springs from an acid base and is perpetuated by that acid base. Of course, acid burns, so hence life is a burning. Like the acid in the car battery is the life of the car. The car is made active by gas burning, and the person is made active by blood burning. Brains that create brains from other matter are acid particles that produce mind and reason energy who carry out the work of creation work of brain roots who are called the prime mover. When a baby is born, the attending physician or midwife makes sure that the infant is breathing and if it is not inhaling and exhaling, the baby gets a spanking to excite and activate the brain and nervous system into action. Because otherwise the child will die unless it is stillborn already. When the baby actively starts to breathe, the oxygen it breathes goes to the lungs and the acid in the blood in its lungs burns the oxygen. The child breathes. And that breathing and that burning is natural electricity called ether, which is life. Let it be remembered always and let it be known. Listen to reason. When the natural electricity, ether, who is the burning, reaches the brain, it lights up the brain like a bulb. Then the person not only has life, but consciousness with that life. Because he or she can then see, feel, taste, hear, and smell. Therefore, a person sees, feels, tastes, hears, and smells with his or her mental organ, the brain, which is the organ of consciousness by way of the nervous systems of the brain. The brain stays alive with the organ of oxygen, the lungs, and the organ of blood, the heart, which the brain grew for its survival. Marrow of the bone, the spinal cord, and the nervous systems of a person or thing are extensions, roots, and branches of the brain of a being. Of course, the nervous systems of a person are found throughout the physical person. Then, too, there is nothing mysterious about the breath of life, for it is oxygen. The point is this. When the burning stops, 
that is the end of that individual's personal life. Because the purpose of the body is to provide the conditions necessary for the burning of his life. And when it fails to do that, life ends. In addition, the purpose of the body is to continue life and to be the tool that the brain uses for survival and support, pleasure and pain. Let it be remembered always and let it be known. Listen to reason. Like the engine of a car gives off carbon monoxide, the lungs of a person give off carbon dioxide. Carbon is residue of a burnt substance of gas. The point is this, an individual inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide is evidence of burning taking place in the lungs and throughout the circulatory system of a living person. And this is why the body of a living person is warm and that of a dead person is cold. Open your mouth and blow your breath in the back of your hand and feel how warm it is. And you will know that the burning is taking place. Oxygen being burnt by blood and creating natural electricity called natural ether, which is life. Then too, what about that static electricity that causes the clothes to cling to the body? This is further proof that life is indeed natural electricity known as natural ether, who is the life of all living persons and things in one degree or another throughout the universes. Let it be remembered always, and let it be known. Listen to reason. Death is also a burning, but whereas life is a burning for construction and growth, death is a burning for destruction and decay. That is to say, life and death are certainly opposite processes. Death is a burning too because death lives and this is why death is active and rules the bottom part of the circle of all existence. As already stated, life is a burning, which is natural electricity called natural ether. And when the burning stops, that is the end of life, and death starts a reverse burning which may be called a cold burning. That is to say, the undoing of what life has done. A death or just before death of a person or thing, the spirit being or spirit beings who possessed or was incarnate in the person during his or her gestation period in his mother's womb or became incarnate at birth of the person, that spirit being takes leave from the dying or dead person or thing and seeks refuge elsewhere most likely becoming incarnate in another person or thing. And this transmigration of what is called souls or spirits from body to body is known as a metapsychosis in the English American Dictionary. This is what actually does happen at death of a person or thing. But there is no individual personal spirit or soul that goes on beyond death of that body. The spirits who became incarnate in the pertinent people existed already in a time immemorial. The purpose of the body is to produce the burning, which is life, and when the burning ends, life ends because the condition that keeps the burning going is among the organs of the body and not outside. Let it be remembered always, and let it be known. Listen to reason. Of all the various kinds of life that can exist, the most vital one next to physical life for a person is mental life, which includes spiritual life. Mental life is known who self is by race and by nature, known who others are by race and by nature, and known who absolute nature is by laws and by reason, that is to say by its real and scientific knowledge about almighty nature. Of all the various kinds of death that can exist, the most devastating one next to physical death of people is mental death. That surely includes spiritual death. 
Mental death is the opposite of mental life. Victims and sufferers of mental death are the mental dead, who this booklet and other books called Introduction to the Nature of Nature, written by Afro Uno, are designed to help mental resurrect and liberate from the adverse forces of mental death of people. Let it be remembered always, and let it be known. What is and where is the creator of the universes and the persons, places and things thereof? Listen to reason. The creator did not just create some persons and things at the beginning of life and ordered and then stop creating because he and she are still creating. And the way they created persons and things originally is the same way they still do and that is by growing them. Creating does not mean making something from nothing which is impossible. Creating means formulating and forming, constructing, building, manufacturing, composing, constituting, generating, concentration of growing persons, places or things from matter or material already existing. The creator is all space, all matter and all time and that is all nature. The space of nature is infinite vacuum. The space of nature is anything and everything that occupies space and time of nature is the continuation of the existence of infinite vacuum and infinite matter. Note that the true and nature science definition of matter is anything and everything that occupies space. When a person reasons out and rationally analyzes this definition of matter, he or she comes to know that matter is the almighty together with space and time. Let it be remembered always and let it be known. Listen to reason. Matter is the almighty and the creator is in the almighty. The creator is in all matter in one degree or another, that is to say in various degrees. In nature, universe, science, the prime mover in matter is called brain notes. The prime mover is the first particles of matter to make the first move towards putting a person, place or thing into creation order. And universe scientists label these particles brain notes. Brain notes create meaning grow brains. And as brain matter accumulates and consolidates, it produces energy called mind and reason. And reason uses mind and also other energies in matter as well as itself to grow persons and things. What causes the prime mover brain notes to move towards formula, life and order are the proper conditions, laws of nature and the cycle in season suitable for the being who is to come into life, form and system as an entity. These requirements and principles of nature hold true whether the entity is going to be one of the largest organisms of nature like a universe or some of the smallest like bacteria. And let it be remembered always and let it be known. Listen to reason. Brain notes, which is the creative via, the energy reason, are in all matter throughout infinite absolute nature. Brain notes are microscopic and macroscopic meaning a person can neither see them with the naked eye nor with a microscope. But we can hear them, smell them, taste with them, and feel with them, physically and emotionally, and see dreams and visions with them. The understanding of this topic explains why there are countless different living creatures and organisms on, on and in the planet Earth that no god someplace in the sky would ever think about creating or indeed ever care about creating. And this means that the matter of absolute nature is all that ever was, all that ever is, and all that ever will be. Meaning, matter is the almighty forever, together with space and time. Matter, by way of its brain notes and reason, is the creator eternally. Let it be remembered always and let it be known. What is the meaning of the resurrection according to nature science? 
Listen to reason. Any intelligent person can reason out that there is no such thing that one day the bodies of all the physically dead people are going to rise from their graves and other resting places and take on form and life again to start with. That is against the laws of nature which require physical living beings to go through the gestation, birth and growth processes to have material being that is for real and not an illusion. And furthermore, even if a physical resurrection could and would happen, there would not be enough room on planet Earth to hold all the human bodies that existed going back to the beginning of the evolution and death. 18 million years ago. Let it be remembered always, and let it be known. Listen to reason. According to Nine Nature, which is the science and philosophy of Nuku, like planet Earth, planet Earth has four major seasons. The same is true for the circle of existence, and all existence in general. All of nature exists one degree at a time on the existence circle. Its circle changes in all matter turn counterclockwise, the turn of order and opposite to the hands of a clock. And when absolute nature arrives at point three south, from point six west on the left of the circle, it has finished the winter cycle of the universes and then begins to enter the spring cycle of the universes of almighty nature. So going beyond point three counterclockwise calls for the nine ether mentality energy of the universe spring cycle to wake up and start to emanate from the centers of the suns. Like spring sap emanates from the roots of trees and plants after winter. And this nine energy reaches the center of the planets and satellites of the solar systems of the universe and the planets and satellites begin to permeate energies more positive than before. And the mental resurrection of persons, places and things has begun together with the universal orbs. Let it be remembered always and let it be known. Listen to reason. Now that the universe orbs and bodies like the sun, earth and moon are decreasing in six ether energy and mind and increasing in nine ether energy and mentality, someone has to herald and usher in this change from universal winter which is the evolution cycle to universal spring which is the revolution cycle and that someone is called Afro Anu the writer and messenger of Nupu whose science is Moon Nupu is the original creator and original prime moon mover of the universes and is also a resurrectionist of the mental dead the mental dead are all people and persons or peoples who are ignorant about the basic ethereal knowledge of absolute nature and the laws of nature as verified by sound right reason which is Nuku and the positive nine science which is new. Let it be remembered always and let it be known.